In 2024, over 2,000 dengue cases with 19 deaths were reported in Trinidad and Tobago. Statistics revealed by Minister of Health, Dr. Lakram Budo. He noted that Aedes aegypti mosquitoes remain widespread across the country with the risk of Zika, Dengue and other mosquito-borne diseases being ever-present. Our country continues to show progress with a notable decline in Dengue cases in 2025. We keep our fingers crossed compared to 2024, reflecting to some extent the effectiveness of increased surveillance and vector control. Since the last recorded outbreaks, no confirmed local cases have been reported for Zika, I'm told, and only one chikungunya case has been reported. The minister said CAFA's 11 TDF Zika program reinforces this country's national capacity for vector-borne disease prevention and control. Through this initiative, extensive training has been provided for insect vector control personnel in areas such as GIS mapping, new vector control technologies, integrated vector management, surveillance and database systems, and insecticide resistance testing. Dr. Bodo officially opened a new mobile insectary at CAFA's headquarters in Port of Spain. Director of Surveillance, Disease Prevention and Control Division at the organization Dr. Horace Cox said the testing of mosquitoes to learn if they are resistant to chemicals used to control them is just one of many activities conducted at the facility. So the improvements include uh, improved infrastructure, more equipment, improved process flow because we have now a larger facility and of course we would have used all the experiences from the previous one to inform not only the design but the building of this one. So we are very happy today to commission this because we really feel that it will resonate with the, in addressing the need that exists at member state level. Dr. Bodo and Dr. Cox made their comments at CAFA's program for health system strengthening for prevention and control of outbreaks of Zika and other mosquito-borne diseases in the Caribbean. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.